it's an amazing kitchen but the lighting is not good inside how is everybody doing good morning good afternoon good evening depending from the location where you're watching me from it's a beautiful morning and i want to prepare breakfast uh, so I decided to do the intro from outside, but I'm getting in to the kitchen. I will try as much as possible and record a video from inside. I'm going to look for a way on how I can get at least some light to support this content. If it's your very first time, I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for your time. Let's get onto the kitchen and begin our video from there. Hey, my God, that's how the inside looks like. You can see, I don't know. It will force me to put on the flash. <laughs> oh, my goodness. There we go. At least there. Yeah. Let me try to see. Lighting is everything for any content creator, guys. These are the really struggles, guys. I bought some milk this is 500 ml just I have a little milk and this goes for 30 cents 30 shillings so this is what we call a traditional kitchen and cooking from a traditional fireplace where you use stones okay you can see we have we have one two and the third one is from this side okay i'm really trying my good people i'm trying i'm trying just bear with me <laughs> this is a metallic pipe we use it to support you in blowing the fire for those who understand this lifestyle please comment down below as the tea cooks let me give you a short story about my life when i used to stay in this kitchen in the african setup when you are a girl at the age of 10 you don't stay with your parents in the main house in the same house it's either they will relocate you to your grandmother's place that is if it's very near and if not you will have to stay in the kitchen that's your bedroom your comfort zone that will be your comfort zone for the time you'll be spending at your parents place so guys this used to be my bedroom and of which as i promised i will give you uh, a tour of my bedroom my precious bedroom this used to be my very comfortable bedroom okay guys imagine you stay in the kitchen it is the same place that you cook from you can imagine the way this is smoke smells yeah but one fact about it in the village schools no one bothers no one bothers that you are smelling smoke it is the same thing that used to happen to all of us only that we come from different backgrounds so it was very easy to interact to engage and to 
be friendly with one another at school. No one could shout at you and tell you that, Lobito, today you are smelling smoke. You are smelling like a goat. Why am I saying so? The same kitchen you are sleeping is your bedroom, right? And it can also be a place where the goats could sleep. And let me tell you, my mom had one goat and it used to stay in that corner. So you can imagine there is a goat there. There is a kitchen here and my bedroom on this other side. So when you go to school, you all smell the same. The village perfume. No one could tell. No one could discriminate. Okay. And guys, at times you come from school late. You're supposed to help your parents with home chores, go to the river, fetch water, collect firewood, look for vegetables, and then it gets late. You haven't uh, washed your uniform. We used to wash our uniforms twice in a week. That is on the weekend, and then in the middle of the week, Wednesday, you wash it again. So it's late. Then you realize, I haven't washed my uniform. That at, at that time, it's when you wash the uniform. And then before you go to sleep, there used to be uh, a chair here. We used to have the folding chairs. Uh, that is if you don't want them to occupy the whole place, you can fold them and then arrange them in one position okay you could unfold that chair and then the sitting part it faces let me see i'm in this kitchen this is where the cooking area is so i could unfold the chair and then the sitting position faces this direction and then where you slide on like this it faces towards the cooking area so that when the morning comes, you will get that your uniform is dry. That was how we used to do things. And it was that simple. And then if it happens that your parents own goods and sheep, when you come at lunch, my friend, you'll have to go change them from the location they've been grazing. You ensure that you change them to where the grass is. You get them water, drinking water. Guys, it was a lot. It was a lot, but we were so used to it. That's why, that's why in most cases you get that African kids they mature at a very tender age. They become responsible at a very tender age. That was my short story about my lifestyle in this kitchen. Okay? So let's continue cooking our breakfast. Yesterday I forgot to wash the thermal flask and the siever. It's now that I'm getting them washed.
the tea is ready guys you can see I want to let it out That was it for today. Let's meet on our next video. Bye.